So as we as we come together and, and join in a time of devotional, um, it's it is a beautiful day. I, I hope uh, you all were able to to get out at least a little bit and enjoy the sun. Um, it, it that encourages me, uh, and I was so grateful to spend a little bit of time in that. Um, today's scripture uh, and and devotional I'm, I'm coming from Echoes of Eternity by Hal Helms. Uh, devotional was given to me by a a colleague uh, from Wisconsin, um, and I, I thought it was, it, it's a powerful one, it's about prayer, and it comes, the scripture reading comes from the uh, letter that Paul wrote, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, just a single verse, uh, 14 verse 15, and Paul writes, I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. And this, this devotional is written as if God is, is speaking to us, and it reads, pray with your eyes open, pray with your heart open, pray with your ears open, open to me and my word, pray with a song in your heart, a song of deliverance, a song of thanksgiving. Fit yourself to be in my company with repentance and confession, covered with my forgiveness and the mantle of my mercy. Thus we can have sweet concourse together, a blessing to you and a joy to my fatherly heart. Put away fear of offending me as long as you observe to do what I've told you. A lively living trust is more pleasing than groveling at my feet. Enter my presence with thanksgiving and come boldly to the throne of grace. I welcome you, my beloved child. The, uh, it spoke to me the scripture reading especially um as it, as it comes from the 14th chapter of first corinthians right after the one that uh, if we've ever attended a wedding we've heard it before uh first corinthians 13 the, the famous beautiful chapter on love uh in chapter 14 paul starts talking about the the gifts of um speaking in tongues and how that fits into worship and and depending on your your tradition your faith background that may be completely foreign it may be something you're familiar with or it may be something maybe just haven't heard of before but when paul's talking about that gift and how that gift is used he says something really profound he he talks about how important it is that what we do spiritually and in the spirit is also intelligible with our minds um that it's connected and that that we have a chance to uh worship god with the whole of our being uh with our mind and our spirit together and that we sing with our mind and our spirit um sometimes it's it, as i listen to music um it's it's the the melody or the tone or um, just the, the music itself that, that speaks deeply to me. And yet other times it's the lyrics and, and together there's a, there's an even greater power uh, when the two uh, come together, when we think about what it means as well as what it's evoking in us. And so um, in the reflection, in the, in the meditation that, that gets offered about God inviting us um, to draw near, not, not groveling, not out of uh, a fear that mistrusts God, but out of a respect for who God is, but also a trust, a trust that God wants us um, to draw into God's presence and to come near who we are as we are. And, and so I guess that would be my hope uh, for all of us as we, as we think about what that means uh, to engage God in prayer, uh, to be trusting before him uh, and to allow God to speak into our lives where we are today. Thanks for joining us this evening, uh, wherever you are. God bless you. Take care.